thanks for joining me. And in this video on the essential guide to Google Calendar, we're going to explore sharing calendars. Now this is a real short tutorial because there's really not a lot involved in it, but it's gonna help save you some time, especially if you've got a Google Apps for Education account with your school, as well as a personal Gmail account that you use to access Google Calendar. Now, for instance, in this case, I have a school calendar, and I know that this is my Google Apps for Education calendar because our school logo is shown in the top left instead of the normal Google logo. And I happen to have a calendar here that is my virtual calendar, and I'm gonna turn off these other calendars here so we can just isolate and you can see what I'm talking about. By the way, don't forget, you can toggle calendars on and off so that they don't show up in your view. That way you can see only the dates for that specific calendar without having to sift through all the other dates on the calendar. But in this case, this virtual academy calendar is one that I want to share with my personal Gmail account so that I can access it on my mobile device like my iPad or my Chromebook or my phone. So to share this calendar, what I need to do is I hover over the name of it and a little drop down menu will pop up. Click on that drop down and choose share this calendar. Now here in this case, it says share this calendar with others. It is made public at this time so I know that people, if I share it with them just by sending a link to them, they can see it. But I want this calendar to be shared so that it shows up in my personal Gmail calendar on my personal Gmail account. So to do that, I need to go to the share with specific people section. I'll enter the email address that I want to share it with. And over at the right, I need to set the permission settings. Now in this case, I want to make it so that I can make changes to events on that calendar from my personal account. So I choose that option and click add person. So now you can see on this list, these two email addresses are allowed to edit and make changes to that calendar. And so I go to the top and click save. And it says, are you sure you want to give access to this calendar? This is telling me this because this is a Google Apps for Education account and it wants to make sure I understand that I'm sharing it with someone outside of our domain. So I'll click OK and it takes me back to the main screen. Now, to make sure that that took place, I'm going to go to my personal Gmail account calendar now. So here I am in my personal account and coincidentally, I actually got an email while I was switching over to this account that told me this calendar was being shared with me. But if I look down here at the bottom, I can see in my other calendars that the Virtual Academy calendar has been shared with me and I can actually see the dates on that calendar that were populated previously when I was viewing it before. So that's how you share a calendar with somebody. Um, it becomes very helpful if you have multiple people in your organization that need to make changes to events in a calendar. And it's also just helpful if you have multiple Gmail accounts and you want to share your calendar access across those accounts. Well, thanks for joining me. And if you have questions, please let me know and look for our next video in the series on the essential guide to Google Calendar.